Hello friends, welcome back to RC Cars UK. Paddy with you here again out on another glorious day in sunny East Devon. Now what have we got here? We've got an original Bowlink funny car. So this is a dragster, as you can see. Yes, so these came out, I believe, late 90s. So you could consider these the grandfather of drag racing. Let's just pop this shell off and we can have a closer look. So let's check the body out first. The body is made of Lexan. It has a vintage RPM blower on the top, a little fake blower on the top there. It's in reasonably good condition for its age. No cracks, no splits, nothing like that. Does have a few scuffs from where a couple of speed runs went awry possibly. Uh, but apart from that, yeah, it's in great condition. I love in the retro flames on it. I mean, you know, you couldn't really, uh, you couldn't really say anything bad about them. If we just see how it looks when it's sat on, you will notice the front little dolly wheels here are completely swamped by the shell, as is the way with all funny cars like that to give them better aerodynamics. And uh, yeah, the back is almost fat enough to cover the tires, not quite. But yeah, what a great looking little thing, eh? nice and long it is officially temp scale however the length of it is a bit longer than an eighth scale really so like i said let's go ahead and take the body off so what are we looking at underneath we are looking underneath the body here at what looks to me like an frp slash grp chassis so that's a glass filled or a fiber filled composite chassis up front you've got a little fiber composite steering plate here you've got the little tiny weeny wheels that do the um just rotating on the front there's obviously no power to the front they've got a little rubber band on there to give them a bit more I wouldn't say traction but uh so they steer straight suspension on the front is taken care of by those little two springs that you can see there and the flex of the plate itself we also have some alloy body posts here i'm not so sure whether these were a later addition or not these ones here are to keep the uh, battery in place whatever battery you use so esc wise what are we rocking we're rocking a tbla the brush, brushless uh, ESC from Tamiya. We're running a little Sport Tune 540 can there as well. Now I like the rear setup. If you look at the rear setup, it's all metal at the back here. You've got a right angle plate sort of section here. Yeah, that the motor attaches to either side to give it a good mesh. You'll also note we've got a lightened race spur gear here connected to a hardened pinion fantastic wheels let's have a look at the wheels we have actually got a set of spur wheels here vintage still new in packet send three dollars for catalog i'm pretty sure that offer's expired now but you never know so uh, there's some original champion bowlink wheels which is what these are you'll notice that they've got the champion on the back here uh yeah these tires are a little bit funny they've been obviously glue seamed in the middle like most of them were um, but they've also been seamed here as well. So they split two ways, these tyres, if you notice. Um, why that is, I'm not so sure. Maybe they were just put on there as replacements. But the tyres on here haven't been run. So it did come with a replacement 2.4 gigahertz uh, controller that someone's put on there. This came with a spare tyre. And you'll notice that's how they came in the day. And you had to shave that little lip off the top. Uh, basically, I've been using it for the transmitter to give me a bit more reach on the transmitter. But it comes with a little 2.4 cheapy gigahertz unit. Um, it does the job. Great range on these things. Very accurate. Uh, much better than the old, um, you know, crystal-based systems and stuff like that. So that's great. So there you go. In a nutshell. See the flex on that? Let me hold it at the front. Look at that. But doing the, re <laughs> the reason that they've got that flex on there obviously if you notice there's a post set up here with a little spring it's not designed to fully stop the flex but what it's designed to do is cushion it and the reason is obviously that when you put the power down it will probably be a bit floppy towards the front 
and uh, it will be kicking up all over the place. There is a wheelie bar on the back, our standard, as you can see. So yeah, there we have it in a nutshell, amigos. A mid 90s Bowlink dragster replica of the funny car. And yeah, great condition. Ready to go and have a bit of fun? Not in my hands it won't be. I don't really do drags. I don't really have anywhere appropriate. I only have this one area here that's sort of kind of appropriate for drag racing. Um, but even though I don't want to crash this and ruin it. It's probably worth about 150 quid. Um, this will be going up on eBay very soon. So if anybody is interested, get on there. Check it out. Cheers, guys. Thanks very much for watching. Stick around because we'll have more showcases for you to see soon. Thanks, guys.